Good morning. It is Wednesday, June 23rd, and uh, we're just having a relaxing day. Gonna do some fishing. Gonna get up and go grab some coffee right now. And uh, eventually we're gonna move over to Double Lake today. So I told you I was gonna show you the view from my tent. So that's looking right outside of my tent. And that waterfall is quite a ways away. Anyway, nice view and uh, I'm still in the bag. My bell number five. And uh, the thermorest uber lights holding up good. My watch charger died, so that's down. And the rest of the place just looks like a bomb went off. So we'll get this packed up this morning and get on with it. But first, we're gonna go grab some coffee. How you guys doing? Doing good. We Great. got one cup of coffee down, Frosty. All right, man. Well, I'm going to catch up with you here. Good. You guys sleep warm last night? Really good. I had to pull off some things, and I didn't even start with all that much to begin with. So. Like daylight last night. Oh, yeah, the moon was really bright. I, I first started, and then I thought, God, I don't need a light. <laughs> a little bullet coffee breakfast. Not a bad way to go. It's pretty good. All right, that's where camp was last night. It's an improved campsite. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's all clean. These guys are all packed up. We've done a walkthrough. Picked up some other people's trash, uh, including a full bag of granola. And uh, we're getting ready to roll. So heading to Double Lake this morning. Just taking our time, enjoying the trip. It's great to be in the outdoors. We're coming up on the outlet crossing at Double Lake. And we're going to wait here for the rest of the crew because we don't hike head to butt. We just, everybody hikes their own hike. So we're going to hang out here and then cross over and head up to the right. And we're pretty close to Double Lake, which you can kind of see the opening there behind the trees. You know, that's where the lake is. So we're really close. There's trout here in this stream too, everywhere out here. This is Double Lake. That's just beautiful, man. It is.
we're down here close to the south end of Double Lake and just got our base camp set up. We just got here, people are starting to set up. Lynn's over there hanging bear bags. We're all gonna hang bear bags and then go fish. So that's the plan. We're gonna get the Tinkara updated with some flies that are appropriate for this lake and uh, hang her bag and go fish. All right, so I'm fixing to rig up my <clears throat> Tinkara rod. And what I'm gonna be using is a stonefly dropper with this black stonefly. I don't know if that's a number eight or what that is, hook size, but it's a pretty big hook. And then I'm gonna be going with this, it almost, I don't know what the exact pattern is, but it reminds me of kind of a scud stonefly. It's got the, you know, pagidium flasher there behind the head. So we're gonna use this as a dropper behind the stonefly and just see what happens. And Jay's already caught two big uh, brook trout, and I say big brook trout because one was like 18 inches, I think. So it was, <clears throat> for a brook trout, pretty big. Um, and he's using a pink scud. Uh, and I've got a bunch of those too, but I'm gonna try this blue uh, nymph. And uh, if you guys know what this pattern is, let me know. It's got a little tail on the end. And uh, it's got a bead and like a thorax and a pagidium body. So uh, we'll see if it's any good. Nice little front coming in over the mountain back there. All right, we'll check in with you here in a bit. Beautiful little brook trout. And uh, we may eat him tonight, but boy, isn't he pretty. Nice orange yellow belly. And they're just slaying them over there too. So sweet, we're gonna get back after it. Now that one's on the stone fly. All right, he just slammed the, the dropper and uh, behind the, the stone fly. And that's a pretty nice fish. So we'll probably eat him tonight. A little cutthroat. And uh, go from there. I like that. I mean, that's nice. I don't know, 14 inch fish or something. I mean, it's way longer with the, with the tail pinch closed. It'd probably be staying there. Yeah, it goes probably to right about right there. So, you know, solid 12 inch fish, maybe more. We'll measure it later. All right, I gotta get this fish, get it on the stringer. Well, I've been video recording and uh, somehow I got it into picture mode, so you didn't catch all that last stuff. Anyway, oh, we're having a great time here catching big cutthroats and uh, some really big brooks brook trout and uh, the views couldn't be better where we're at and they're really on so they're hitting pink scud uh, blue sort of scud I showed earlier what I had rigged up mine uh, so they're hitting on that and the stonefly both all right he's a fighter oh look another one came up to get the see what he was getting oh I got two. Oh my god I've got two I caught two on the same dropper. Oh man, I gotta get these. Okay, I got control of the situation now. So this one hit on the little blue nymph and uh, we might keep him, but this one hit on the, uh, the stonefly. 
And so we're going to get rid of him. But that's just amazing. I caught two fish on one line. <laughs> so we're going to take these off and uh, get this one back in the water. So, wow, good times. <laughs> that's just amazing to get one on the stonefly and on the, the dropper. And it's such a beautiful location, too. So, more, more fishing. Here we go. Okay, I think this is like number 12. It's hard to get him in the frame at my arm's length on wide angle. Uh, he's nice eating fish. He hit on the stonefly, not the dropper. So, all right. On to more fishing. So I got a nest. There's a big gust that come up with a little squall and I got a nest. And so I just cut this off. And uh, since I'm going to restring everything, I'm going to put these back in the box and save these. Those are obviously good for here. And then I'm going to go with this olive covered uh, woolly booger. And I've decided to rig up my dropper a little different this time. I don't remember what the name of this knot is. It's not the Fisherman's, but it's another one I use all the time. Anyway, I've made a loop here and I'm going to connect the dropper onto that. And I think, just for kicks and grins, I'm either going to go with one of these scuds or with the snow cone, red and white there, and we'll just see how that works. All right. Little shower just passed through, and now it's pretty calm. A few gusts of wind, we may get a little more, a few sprinkles. All right, so I'm switching back to probably a stonefly and a scud, because I lost my snow cone on a fish, and they're really not interested in the this one. So anyway, we're gonna switch it up. All right, John's on. We're both on at the same time. That's the catch and release. All right, this one's a fighter. Nice cut through. Fish on. He's a fighter. All right, well, we just got back uh, from fishing for a couple hours and uh, we caught a ton of fish. Uh, each of us kept a couple and uh, we'll probably do a fish fry tonight or cook them up somehow. Uh, Josh caught a bunch, Johnny caught a bunch. Uh, we haven't caught up with the rest of the crew yet. They were kind of fishing on the south side of us uh, to see what they've done, um, how much luck they had, but there was a ton of them up there. Brooks and cutthroats, that's all we caught. Uh, so, but we got a couple of nice cutthroat and uh, quite a few pretty big brook trout. So uh, it was a ton of fun. Uh, and now we're gonna just, you know, kind of get ready for our dinner duties and uh, cook some fish. All right, cleaning some fish. Getting ready for dinner. All right, these guys are cleaning fish and we got a lot of roe here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Do we cook it or just eat it raw? No, if you want to eat it, you just eat it like that. Can you wash your hand off. Oh, look at them eggs. Man. Yeah, you get like three or four or five. Oh, they're like five. Yeah. Dive in there, man. Examine it. can take shit. Well, you can just put fish bait. All right, bro. Oh, wow. You want some? You gotta look this way, Johnny. Nobody saw you. <laughs> yeah, might as well. What do you think, Lynn? Good. Yeah, I mean, it's. It just tastes just like salty. Fish. Right, it tastes like fish oil, yeah. Yep. 
But it's not a bad flavor. No. Mm -mm. It's uh. It reminds me. It's delicate. Right. It's, it's light. It's not. You want some? It's broke. Right. Kind of crunchy. Tastes like oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, man, I have some. That's crazy. There's a ton in there. Yeah, it's surprisingly good. Unless you think you can fertilize them. <laughs> All right, getting the olive oil warmed up. Get some trout in there. All right, the fish are on. Fish on, fish on. <laughs> That's how it was all, all evening. So we got the rice pre-hydrating just in cool water over there. We're gonna add some curry seasoning to that later and then we'll heat it up, but we'll do that at the end. We'll get all these uh, fish cooked first. And, uh, and then we've got a luxury item that uh, Frosty Greg brought up, which is lemons. And they smell wonderful. All right, fish tacos coming up. Well, there's the, the skin falls off. They look good. Yeah. Well, there's the cutthroat that had all the roe in it, and it's cooking up. Josh's first big fish. Let's go. Yeah. yeah isn't there a movie like that called Big Fish? Yeah. The Big Fish. Got the cocoa going, got hot water for coffee going, rice hydrating, fish cooking. How's that coffee? Cheers. Great. All right, we're done cleaning and uh, done with our evening coffee and fixing to go hang some bear bags, play uh, some card games and Check out the weather forecast on the Garmin and uh, scope out a composition for some astrophotography. And it's a little cloudy right now, but we'll check the forecast and see what the, the cloud cover is likely to be over the next couple of days and try and get out and get some Milky Way shots sometimes. all the fish hitting. But, but that's probably pretty close. Yeah, I'd say it's a little over four. Mm -hmm. Between here. I don't know. I don't see that. It's what it looks like. What? Three, 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 three well, I'll tell you what, it looks like you could jump off of one of these cliffs into the water. Mm -hmm. okay. swim. So, we'll probably wrap it up here for the day. And uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. And remember, when you can, get up. Get out, live a little. See ya. Nice little cut through. And he's gonna be a little longer than my cork portion of my rod. So let's get him released and back in the water. <laughs>